greetings, everyone, and to the saints of the Most High God. You're now listening to the Whole Truth Program, coming to you from the sanctuary of the church in the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith Incorporated, where Bishop Joe C. Tisley is pastor and general overseer. Now let's bow our heads in prayer and meditation as we're led by Minister Smith. Father, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, once again, we want to thank you. Lord God, we want to thank you for allowing us to see another day that we have never seen before. Lord God, we want to thank you for giving us life, health, and strength. Lord God, we want to thank you for giving us an unction, my God, to assemble in the house of prayer. Lord God, we praise you, my God, for all things in your great and mighty name. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for this gathering today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we pray, my God, that you give us a mind to hear your word, Lord God. We pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, that the word fall upon good ground. Lord God, give the people a heart of flesh, my God, that they may receive your word. Lord God, that it may prick the hearts and minds of men and women as they hear the word of God. Lord God, give them a mind to give heed to your word. Lord God, by repenting of their many sins. Lord God, being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of their sins. Lord God, give them a mind to call on the name of Jesus Christ until you fill them with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Lord God, we pray that you continue to give us a mind to continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, breaking of bread and in prayer. Lord God, we pray for the man of God, Bishop Josie Tisdale. Lord God, we pray that you have a word in his mouth, my God, with the words of life. Lord God, that's able to breathe life into a dying soul. Lord God, we pray for all the sick. Lord God, the burden down and the trouble. Lord God, we pray, Lord God, that you bless them to know that thou art almighty and thou can make a way when there's no way. Lord God, we pray for them that are walking in darkness. Lord, for the lost sheep, them that are not of this fold, but them that I must bring. Lord, continue to bless your church, Lord God, the church in the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord God, help it to be that beacon of light, Lord God, that give men and women a hope, my God, that they may be able to save themselves from this untoward generation. These and all blessings we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray to the glory of God. Amen. Again, you're listening to the whole Truth Program. If you have any questions or comments, you may mail your correspondence to The Church in the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith Incorporated, Bishop Joe C. Tisdale, Post Office Box 2017, Hartsville, South Carolina. You can also call our toll-free number at 1-877-332-5661. You can also visit our website for additional church information, such as beliefs and calendar events, as well as audio sermons preached by Bishop Tisdale. Our official website address is www thechurchin.org. Now at this time, the choir render a selection entitled, Turn On The Current. indeed an honor to present unto you the man of God, our pastor and general overseer, Bishop Joe C. Tisdale. 
We do give much honor and praises to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We do greet everybody, all of our listeners and viewers, whoever you are in your homes, uh, automobiles, wherever you are and you are listening, we do greet you with much love, joy, and peace. May it be multiplied unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. And may God bless your hearts and your minds to realize why the Lord Jesus Christ has come and shed his blood is because that he wanted his people to be with him. Amen. And for that reason, God people had sin, and this is the real reason that Jesus Christ had to come to the world, meaning God, the Son of God, Son of Man, meaning he was God in the flesh. Amen. The Bible tells me without controversy, it was God that was manifested in the flesh. Yeah. Now people telling me that they love God, says one God, sure it is, but don't you believe that as the word of God says, he was manifested flesh. That's right. You have to realize this without the complaining. Uh -uh. Amen. We shouldn't have a controversy here now. God Amen. was manifested flesh. Say, how was he manifested flesh? And the word of God says how it all happened. Amen. Amen. 1 Timothy 3, 16. Amen. Amen. God was manifested flesh. Why are we complaining? Why are we arguing? Amen. If God was manifested flesh, what does that mean? That means he was just like we are. Amen. We are flesh and blood, right? Yeah. All right. That's how he came to condemn sin in the flesh. Your people better get your minds right, and let's go on with God. Amen. Amen. The God that was manifested flesh that said all power was given to him in heaven and in earth. Amen. You need look no further. Yeah. You need not look to the east nor the west. Amen. You may as well look to God. He is the only one. Yeah. He is the only one. He's one Lord. He's one God. And he's over all and through you all. You don't have to worry about a second one. It's only one. Amen. People try to divide him, say Jesus, the son of God, and Jesus, the son of man, and all this and that. But that was God. Amen. You can stop with God and say, that's all right. Is that right? That's right. Amen. What the word say here, reader? Man, 1 Timothy 3 and 16. Yes. And without controversy. Without controversy. Great is the mystery of godliness. See, you're looking at something and man trying to eat peanuts and he trying to eat a pork chop sandwich and, you know, have a stew beef dinner or a lettuce or whatever you say. Then he wants to compete with the mystery of God. You can't do it. You can't compete with the mysteries of God without God Almighty revealing himself unto That's us. Right. That's right. No natural man know who he is. God have to reveal himself by the Spirit of God. Amen. And the word tell me here was what? Without controversy. Great is the mystery of godliness. Now, if the mystery of godliness is great and he was manifested flesh, I should be pleased today that God has worked it out. Amen. That he was the one that treaded the wine press alone by himself. Yeah. His garment was bloody. My Amen. God, he, he did it alone. He saved, he did all of it by himself. Amen. He said, look, and he wondered that there was none to uphold. Amen. He said, my own arm brought salvation That's unto right. me. 